So Ted, we have another question here. Um, this person is worried that they're not technical enough. Mm. And this is a question I've heard a lot too. Not technical enough, don't know what to, to do. Like there's too much, they feel overwhelmed and that can stop a lot of people from continuing on or um, growing their Instagram because they just don't know. So what would you say to yeah. people? Typically, who, what I found Lisa, is typically it stops people from getting started in the first place. Mm. Um, they and, and 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 yeah okay you can say continue on they get started with Inst first they don't want to get on instagram because it's too technical then they get on instagram and they're like whoa this is easy and they just figure it out like this is super easy and then it's like oh do you know how to um put a link in your bio and they're like oh no i never did that before so they don't do it and they figure it out like well that was super easy and it's like oh i need to go live oh i don't know how to go live and then they don't go live then they go live and they're like, well, that was so easy to go live right or or how to um, go live with somebody how do you invite someone on to a live and they don't do it and then they do it and it's easy same goes for uploading a YouTube video, creating a Facebook page, creating a funnel, creating an ebook, right? How easy is it to actually create an ebook when you know how to create an ebook? Oh, so easy. It so takes easy. a little time, but it's easy. Yeah, it's very it's, easy. But only because you know how. Yeah. Right? Now, if I was to say to you, Lisa, um, how do you multiply 487 times 64 in your head? <laughs> You'd be like, uh, I don't know. So to you, yeah. would you say that's easy? No. Okay, but to a mathematician who that's all they do is just do big equations in their head to them it's super easy because they know how to do it. Not because they're smarter than you, just because they learned how to do that equation in their head. So same goes for figuring stuff out online. And when it comes to growing your Instagram, it's so, we, we teach the easiest way possible, right? We, we, we really simplify it and make it so my grandma can follow along. And she's like 93. So we simplify it. But if there's anything outside of that, like let's say I want to um, sell an ebook or let's say I want to create a video course or, or offer coaching. How do you do that? Where do you begin? Well, anything technical related. Yeah. It can be overwhelming at first initially. And that's a really, 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 really good sign for a couple of reasons. Number one, it's a sign that you're headed towards growth. And if you're not growing, you're dying. So you want a bit of overwhelm. If when there's too much on my plate, I'm like, dude, you need more, put more on my plate. I want to, I want to bulk up here, right? I want to get my brain strong. If you don't use it, you lose it. That's the second thing. It means, sorry, that's the first thing. It means you're headed towards growth. The second thing about um, being overwhelmed and feeling technically like incompetent is it instantly makes you realize why there's no competition because nobody's willing to figure stuff out. So if you can just have that, or at least develop that skill of wanting to figure things out, you become so valuable and, and like there's no competition because every time you figure something else out, it's like hopping over another rail that like someone else asks to like hop over. And like most people aren't willing to hop over things. Most people are just like looking scrolling all day and not hopping over shit. They're just scrolling through, you know? So there's, it really makes you realize there's no competition. But here's how I, whenever I come up against technical hurdles, which I come up against because I'm constantly trying to grow and I, I seek them out. I'm like, I'm looking for them. I'm like, give me another technical difficulty. Let me try and figure this one out. When I come up to one, here's what I do. I, I use something called the big four, okay? The big four. First thing I use, I use my own brain. I try and figure it out. Most cases that fails me and I just stare like a deer in headlights. I'm like, uh, I can't actually figure it out. But I try, I make an attempt, okay? <laughs> I click around. I'm like, I'm like I, I, I give faith in the developers of the program that they should have made it super easy for me to use. I assume everything's going to be as easy as an iPhone or something, right? but you can't really mess up. You take it out of the box and it works. I'm assuming all softwares are like that until proven otherwise. Okay, so that's number one. I use my brain. Number two, if I can't figure it out, I go on Google and I type how to blank. In fact, how did we get this um, Zoom figured out? Right. For example, teach this. Yeah, so we um, wanted to have a side-by-side -side in Zoom. I wish we could do side-by-side. -side. I don't know how to do that. And we couldn't figure it out. We're like looking, we're clicking, we're using our brains, we're trying to figure it out. Oh. No. Is there a way to set it up? We did pop to step two, where we did do some Google searches. What did I Google? You Googled how to do side-by-side -side video in Zoom. How Google. to do side-by-side -side Zoom. It was basically the question that we had and we just Googled it. And then I was kind of clicking around and then I found a button. I was like, ooh, and I clicked it. What about um, gallery view, top right? There's yeah. one that says speaker view. Oh, or oh, view. oh, 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 sick. And it worked. So it, was, it really is about trying. And I feel like when you have a problem and when something is uh, overwhelming, you're like, I don't know what to do this or whatever. Take it on as a challenge and get excited about it. Be like, I'm going to figure this out. Yeah. 
Hey. Oh, did we do it? <laughs> Got it. Is that it for real? I hope so. I think it is. I think he, yeah, it is. I think you got it. Okay, well, let's hope it works. We figured it out so much faster together because we worked together on it, mm-hmm. right? And so if you really can't figure something out, um, mastermind with someone. Mastermind with a friend or, or a family member or something. Say, hey, can you figure it out? And you try and get a friend to figure it out. Maybe send it to a few friends on Facebook. Say, hey, can you figure it out? And that, that's, that's, again, if Google fails. Go to Google as your, as your um, first use your, use your brain. Be a, be, be a big boy. Be a good big girl. And then go to Google. If you can't figure that out, then go to a friend or something. But um, even better than a friend, maybe, sometimes, is I go to the, the third one. And the third one is just go on um, Upwork.com or Fiverr.com. Mm. And you pay a freelancer. Actually, before you get to the freelancer step, that's maybe the fourth step. The third one would be you just call customer support. Mm, okay. Yeah. So because of COVID right now, customer support kind of sucks. It's like overwhelmed for some reason. I don't know why they use COVID as an excuse to lower their customer support. In fact, they should jack it up, have more customer support because more people are on it. But anyways, that's another story. Um, call customer support to send them a message. And I get like at least 75% of all my questions and concerns answered just by a simple support ticket on customer support. You may think, Ted, you're a genius. You figure all this stuff out. I just ask customer support a lot of questions. I ask a lot of questions. So that's the, would be the third thing. The fourth step to figuring stuff out technically is um, you then just hire someone who knows how to do it. Mm-hmm. You just hire them to know, know how to do it. Um, to fix certain glitches or things on my website or if I don't know how to do something or even if I don't want to do something. Maybe, maybe I have to like um, take all my writing on here. Maybe I have to take this and like put it into like a Google slide spreadsheet or something. I don't want to do that. It sounds like a lot of work. I'll just go on the internet I'll take, I'll take a picture of this. Okay. I'll send it to someone on the internet and on upwork.com or fiverr.com and I'll just pay them 25 bucks or 20 bucks to take care of the problem for me. Like, Hey, can you please put this in Google slides? Here's how I want to look and give them an example of what I want to look like. They match it up. They do their job. They get 25 bucks. That's like a week's wage for them. They're super happy. Uh, I'm super happy. Totally worth 25 bucks and it's done. I didn't have to even lift my finger technically wise, all I, te- technologically wise, all I had to do was go on upwork or fiverr.com make a post and give someone some work. It feels good giving them work. They're happy they solve the problem and um, I'll get the job done without having to lift a damn finger. So Yeah, I, I did um, for my intro, for my YouTube videos, I had no idea how to make the intro or what I wanted. So I actually went on Fiverr and I found some examples that I liked and I just contacted the creator and I said, Hey, can you change it and do this and this and this? And they said, yeah, for sure. So they did it. Now I know how to make my own and I've made a couple for um, other people already. But at the time it was so much easier just to pay somebody who had the talent, they have the talent. So they're willing to do work. Totally. You got to be willing to separate yourself from money temporarily to get something that you want. A lot of really, Poor people, no, no offense to any poor people. I mean, I even know some rich people who are like this, but it's usually poor people. They're like so attached to the money that they won't spend it on anything, even if it's going to help them, even if it's going to help them get what they want, right? And what I found is that if I just spend some money, it comes, especially on my investing in myself, right? I'm investing in the intro, I'm investing in my growth, I'm investing in my knowledge, I'm investing in, in saving time. Right. Every time I spend some money investing myself, it comes back like twofold. And I'm like, oof. I'm like, I just made some more money because of that. Right. Mm-hmm. You're gonna make more money um, having the technical stuff figured out. You're gonna make more money having a bigger following. You're gonna ha- make more money having that ebook done. Right. You're gonna have the money. You're gonna have more money if you just spend a bit of money. So learning how to separate myself from the money has been a challenge in the past. I used to be super broke and always learned like, I was brought up thinking like, save, 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 save. Don't spend anything. But now that I'm, I'm getting older and wiser, I'm like, wow, I can save so much time just paying people to do stuff for me that would waste my time. Like yesterday, I paid someone on Craigslist 50 bucks to come and take all my garbage and recycling away. Yes, I could have driven to the garbage and recycling place myself. It would have taken me half an hour, but half hour there, half hour back, that's an hour. My time is worth more than 50 bucks in an hour. Or I could have waited till next Friday and put it out by the side of the road, but I don't want to deal with next Friday. I want to get it done, cleaned out of my house now. So 50 bucks done, right? So why are we talking about spending 50 bucks? Because we got to learn if we want to overcome something technically, we can either figure it out ourselves, we can Google it, we can um, ask customer support. Last case scenario, pay someone 20, 25 bucks to get it done for you. Holy, you'll save so much time. 
Yeah. And a lot of headache too, because if, 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 if it feels overwhelming and someone else can do it for you for 25 bucks, then it's a lot easier. You'll get it back. You'll feel good and ready to move on to the next step. Lisa and I, we um, got some stuff transcribed in the past where we talked for like an hour or two into our voice memos on our phone. And we had a big hour long recording of our voice. And like, we we're thinking like, Oh, should we like type it up? And we're like, it's not totally we spend all the time typing it up. Let's just pay someone 15 bucks to type it up for us. Right now we have a full transcript that can be converted to an ebook very easily. Mm -hmm. Amazing technique. So anyways, that's how you overcome techn technologically difficult stuff. Understanding that first and foremost, it's an indicator that you're in growth mode, you're in the growth zone. And it's also, if you can overcome that, there's just one last, one less rung of competition anywhere near you. Awesome. Love it. Thanks, Ted.